This is Western Fashion Behind the Scenes, hosted by the Boot Babes. In this podcast, we delve deep into the world of Western fashion, exploring its history, trends, and the people who make it happen. With Cowgirls once again taking the spotlight, we bring you stories from the industry's most fascinating characters. Saddle up and join us as we ride into the wild west of fashion. And now here's your host. Hey everyone, it's Ashley the Boot Babe and I am live on the Western Fashion Behind the Scenes podcast. I'm so excited because today I have my most favorite character of all that is online, Tumbleweed Tommy himself. Welcome, Tommy. Thank you, Ashley. I'm glad to be on with you. Because I've been watching your channel grow and I've been watching how you've taken your love for Western fashion and you've made it accessible to so many people that didn't know it existed. So congratulations, number one. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I'm curious, how did you get started into this? I've like, I've sort of had thoughts of wearing Western wear for many years. I bought a pair of cowboy boots in college back in 2010. I actually got rid of them in 2016. I just never wore them. I guess I didn't really feel like I was a cowboy or just didn't didn't want people to think that. So I got rid of them. I just didn't, didn't wear them. But then couple friends from college gave me a gift card to the boot bar and they I said I'd been still talking about the, my boot so much like so I bought another pair I still have that pair of boots it's a brown pair of Cody James square toes they still make them actually I I've worn them in my videos actually bought them in March of 2017 and then I bought my first hat western shirt belt with buckle and stuff a month later when I went to a rodeo in April of 2017. So it sounds like your love for Western fashion has been going on for a while. Did you grow up with horses? Believe it or not, no. Where did you grow up? In Florida, which is where I still live. Okay, awesome. So you grew up in Florida. You didn't grow up with horses. You wanted to wear the Western lifestyle. And now your friends. Friend from college, she kind of, so I've been, you know, talking with her about Western wear a lot. And other friends as well. I've even I even posted a few outfits on my personal Instagram page over the last few years. And she thought this would be a great way to, you know, show my passion, you know, get it out there and kind of an outlet for something I enjoy doing. Because I even my few face my relative few Facebook friends I had thought I was had something here. So I decided to start it and then it grew exponential. I used to have Instagram's tools to make it grow a little faster, but it really was natural and organic for the most part. Because people liked that they had a genuine personality and that I was bringing positivity. They, they thought I could, I really pulled off the cowboy look well. Which you do. And I'm so excited because I want to see your outfit today. I got the memo to wear red, which is great. So if you're listening to this, just know that you can watch the Western fashion behind the scenes all the exclusives on the YouTube channel. So make sure you go check that out, but let's check out your outfit. So tell me all about what you're wearing today. So you want me to pull, do you want me to pull anything? You want me to take the hat off or just tell about it? Absolutely. You can tell me all about it. Take it off. We are wearing my beautiful 30 X white Stetson cowboy hat. This was given to me by Randy Hauser himself. Even got some, I don't know if you can see, but it says Tumbleweed Tommy on the inside of the hat. This is the hat band and the buckle. And I've got a little hat pin that another follower gave me, a little turquoise hat pin. Beautiful. We're wearing, it's going to be really hard to see the whole outfit. You're doing good though. You just back right up all the way behind the couch a little more. You're doing so good. <laughs> this is perfect. This is our first time. We're going to do a lot of these. So perfect. Cool. We've got a red embroidered Western shirt on from Buckaroo Shirts. They gave this to me months ago. It's got roses on the front. It's got black yokes, red pearl snaps. Here's the back of the shirt. I've got my dark wash, regular cowboy cut jeans on. This is a Justin Star belt. I bought at Boot Barn last year. And I've got a custom buckle from Trace Rio Silver that says, Tumbleweed Tommy is the best dressed cowboy. And on my feet, I hope you can see these. Can you see my boots? Oh, yeah. The damn post. These are my damn post python cowboy boots. Nice round toe. They have black stitching at the top. They're a round toe. Here's the other boot and chef. This is one of my all-time favorite Western outfits. Absolutely. I think, yeah. Where would you wear this outfit? I have actually worn this exact outfit to a rodeo back in March. It was the Bulls, Bands, and Barrels. Have you heard of that rodeo before? I haven't. Where's that one at? Well, they're all around. Right. Is my hat on correctly, or is it oh backwards? Yep. Yeah. So the bow goes in the back, right? All I good. get it mixed. I don't. I never get that mixed up. 
they go all around the southern United States. This was in, you know, my, you know, where I live in Florida. And okay. They, they come, I think, almost every year, I think. They do a, they have a rodeo, then a concert afterwards. Pretty wild. That is pretty wild. I'm excited. I need to learn more about that. I'm curious, what is your full-time job when you're not being a Western fashion influencer? I'm a banker, actually. A, a banker. That's amazing. So you help people, and you've been doing that for quite a long time? Often, yes. Basically, for the last six years, I've worked. This is the third bank I've worked at. That's amazing that you've been able and to I turn like your doing passion. It. I like doing it. It's a good way to help people. You know, it's trying to use my business degree in college a little bit. I'd love to be, you know, I've always wanted to be like a fraud analyst or an economist as well. But, you know, this is what I'm doing right now, though. A fraud analyst or economist, those would be really interesting jobs. To those have. are great jobs. We need somebody to change this economy, I'll tell you. Whoa, yeah, we're having some crazy stuff. And I think that your channel really brings a lot of positivity and light to people in a time when we're because, having so many challenges. You know, with COVID the last few years and all that. Yeah, tell me about the response from the people on your channel and some of the people you've gotten to know. Okay, so of course I've gotten to know you, of course. This is our first time actually talking, though. I've met, see, I've got my photographer who lives where I live, really awesome, really awesome. I'll just say her first name is Victoria. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's fun. I'm sure that, you know, she get, she does a great photography of you, and it's really fun. We did so. the first two photo shoots, the first one in October, the second one back in November. I had a third photo shoot, which was paid, actually. I work with Tyler Bicknell. Is that, she actually works with a couple of companies, including a jewelry company called Kelly Her Jewelry. Can you that, see that is amazing. Is it it's diamonds? A horseshoe, mint horseshoe styled ring. And it's also got, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like the star of Texas on here almost. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Kelly Her Jewelry, right? Yes. And tell me about, so she has it on Jewelry Online, and that's how people can find yeah, her. And I've got a promo. I have a promo code I've been giving the followers to buy the jewelry. I don't know. I Absolutely. haven't got any world how successful. I, I'm sure somebody used it and bought it. I'm sure of it. What's the promo code? Tumbleweed Tommy. The whole thing. Tumbleweed Tommy. Yes. Okay. Tumbleweed. And you all lowercase letters too. M M Y. Okay. We'll put that in the show notes for the listeners for sure, because that is an amazing ring. Not only is it an amazing now, ring. Yes. If, if you're talking about um, stuff for the, for the followers, I don't have this on me. I don't have a promo code per se for this. But, you know, damn post gave me a, a commissionable link to use as well, which I've been giving the followers as well. Okay, perfect. We can include that in the I will show email notes. That to you because I don't, and I don't think it requires a program. I always give them one anyway. I always say if it were, if they ask for a code, use Tumbleweed Tommy. But I believe the link I, I gives them the discount, and of course, it, if I if they use it, I believe I get a little cut of that. You know, I get a cut. Yeah, that's an amazing way to make commission or to make a living or to create <laughs> money for yourself, right? And so I think you're interested in. Working with other companies, yeah. I really want to build this up, you know, because I'm I'm doing good, but I think I could be doing better. Okay, I'm so excited. So, who would be your dream collaborations? You know, I don't know. I guess there's several dreams. You know, even though I have a Stetson hat, I'd love to work with them. I would love to work with them. I'd love to get a relationship with like La Cheese, La Lucasi, Lucasi boots. So I love you so much. This is the, probably the best interview we've ever done. I have to tell you a story. Ready? Mm -hmm. I've sold cowboy boots for almost 20 years and people come into this store and I help people when they need to retire and close their store. Mm -hmm. That's how I developed the boot babe. And the boot babes was some people would show up to help you if you'd had a store for 50 years and you needed to yeah. retire. And so while I was doing this, people would come into the store and ask for blue cheese boots all day long they would say oh. are the blue cheese boots here and i i didn't know what that was i couldn't figure it out but it's lou casey and it's oh that's so, so funny <laughs> it is so fun you made my day because i i feel silly mispronouncing because i know people are gonna say he should he's not really a cowboy he doesn't he doesn't know how to say i'm you know what, Tommy? That's the whole point of this podcast. What you should know is Western fashion behind the scenes is about teaching people about the Western industry in general, right? I'll tell you who else has a problem with their name. Sometimes it's Ariat, right? Secretariat and Ariat, but people call it Ariat and people call it yeah, all sorts too. of things. I always have too. Yeah, yeah. So there's a, a, an underlying, you know, 
kind of genre of words that need to be explored. And Lucchese is one of them, right? So I'm excited. We're going to leave that in the podcast if you're okay with it, because it will educate yeah, so many people. I want, no, I really want, I see, I, I got to make more room because I don't, to, for all this Western wear, but I, I really would love to do, it'd be cool to do this full time. You know, it would be really cool. Well, I think you have an extraordinary gift to be able to explain your outfits and really connect with people and invite them to take a look and wear the things that make them feel most confident. And I think that's what it's really about, right? Is figuring out how do you be confident in a world and stand out in a world where so many people are doing the same thing and things aren't feeling very well. Right. And so what would you want to leave when you, when you leave this earth? I know this is kind of a weird question, but what would you want people to remember you for? You know, for bringing a positive spirit and positive light into the world, just that he cared about others. That's beautiful. That's a great legacy to leave. I know that you're working on some other things too in the future. What do you have coming up where people might be able to see you or maybe be able to know you? There's a Juneteenth rodeo here. I will say I'm in Jacksonville, the Jacksonville Equestrians here. That's where the Bulls, Bands, and Barrels was. Which is Jacksonville, Florida. Yes. I will be there tonight. Okay. So if the someone wants to say hi, 7 PM, I will, I will try to be there by six 30, no later than six 45. I want to get, I want somebody to get pictures of me, of course. And okay. I would, if some followers are, I'd like to get a picture with you and meet you. Okay. Awesome. So anytime that's tonight, that's tonight, of course. So unfortunately when this interview airs, this will have already happened. What you should know though, is if you're listening to this and you see Tom, Tommy, make sure you go up and say hi and get a picture with him and add him to Instagram and become friends because that's how the world works right now. That's really how you find people that yeah. love what you love. I know in no, this is in November, but I've been invited to a Western themed ga- gala in you know, where, near where I live. Okay. Amazing. Who's, and it's, who's putting that on? Is it open it, where other people a, could go? I think you have to be invited to, I got invited to it's in St. Augustine it's supporting, I think like a theater down there or something. Okay. Amazing. Have you been to any of the Western markets at all? Or have you? I have not, I have not gone to several rodeos this year. Okay. I went to the um, Randy Hauser concert last year. That's because I got a VIP pass. He, I've his follower, his bandmate Mike Khalil followed me, and Randy Hauser follows me now too. Amazing. He He's such a good guy, isn't he? Just he a real down to earth guy. Mm-hmm. He's the one that got the Stetson for me. Amazing. He is such a cool guy. So, like, um, I mean, this is a 30X hat. This is a, I believe it's a 30X. Yeah, that, what a gift, right? And it's, I like the color. I love the color on this, and it's very comfortable. Yeah, I think Stetson would be lucky to work with you. So hopefully if they're listening to this and they get wind. I hope, do they, do they follow you? They do follow me. I know Stetson pretty well. How does someone get a hold of you if they want to work with you? Probably the easiest way is through, you know, messaging me on Instagram. That's the way I communicate with the channel. Okay, Just perfect. Me Tommy. I do check them pretty often. Okay, so if someone wanted to get a hold of you, that would be the way. And what you should know, I was wondering, I know you told me earlier about where you got your first pair of boots, but we also have another podcast called the Cowboy Boot Podcast. And so maybe mm-hmm. in the future, we'll do an episode on that. And we'll talk about all the different kinds of cowboy boots you have and you can show I them would, off. I would love to do that. Okay. I bet the listeners would love to see that too. So for today, we're going to sign off from Western Fashion Behind the Scenes. This is Ashley and we have had Tumbleweed Tommy on the episode today. If you do not know him, please go follow him on Instagram. Tommy, thanks for coming today. My pleasure, Ashley. I enjoyed it. Yes. And if you haven't heard of Western Fashion Behind the Scenes, now you have. Time for you to put on your cowboy boots and feel confident. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to Western Fashion Behind the Scenes, hosted by the Boot Babes. If you want to stay up to date with the latest in Western fashion, make sure to subscribe to our show and follow us on social media. We'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions for future episodes, so feel free to reach out. Until next time, keep rocking those cowboy boots.